Welcome back to the channel. This is No Luck Trucking. I'm Matt. And uh, Happy New Year's, guys. It's our first video of 2023. We are down in uh, Chesapeake, Virginia. So this is kind of the uh, like Hampton Roads area. Is uh, It's where I grew up. Liz was here for a good majority. Of Most, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so this is like our old stopping ground. Um, it's off of uh, I-64, pretty close to the uh, east coast of Virginia, southeast, most part of Virginia. Uh, we're picking up a load of, I don't even know what we're picking up, but we're going over to a uh, injector manufacturer in uh, Athens, Tennessee. So pretty good rate to go over basically it's like 550 miles something like that um, well I guess 600 miles we're right at 600 but uh, so this video is gonna be a short one kind of getting back into trucking we've been off for a few weeks it was a uh, it was a little different forgot how to drive a truck for a second <laughs> couldn't get the mirrors adjusted right and then uh, we left a little early to get down here because uh, one, there's not a whole lot of truck parking in Hampton Roads. And two, the traffic is very terrible because your options of getting over uh, to this area uh, involve going through a tunnel. And there's a ton of base traffic for all the military bases around. So it becomes a mess. Got here pretty early. Our stuff's at 7.30. Uh, the yard guy said one of them doesn't open until 8. Some guy in front of us came over to the second door over here uh, at 7.30. He got help, so we went in, and uh, we were not in the right place. So we have to wait until 8 and go over to the uh, main building, see if we're in the wrong place then. Then uh, hopefully we can get this picked up and get it moving. And then uh, we booked another load after. We can talk about that one probably at the end of the video or maybe just start off the next video with that one. But uh, yeah, during the, the time off, uh, cooked a lot of, uh, we smoked a few pork shoulders on the smoker. You know, did the, the Christmas thing with the family. We actually came down here. My dad lives probably like two or three miles away from this pickup. Uh, so we stayed down there with him. Um, we did pick up a new daily driver car for the times when uh, we're not on the truck. Uh, my grandmother's old car, so it has 45,000 miles on it. We made the trip from here to Stanton, which is 180, 200 miles, something like that. It did it. Did it perfectly fine and then uh how old is the car with 45 yeah that's miles? true it is a 2001 so it's uh about 23 24 years old now because uh yeah it would have been 2000 that that would have came out so yeah 20 23 years so the inside's like a time capsule it's a tan interior there's hardly any stains it, it looks pristine the outside is a little sun faded um and it also stayed under a tree for the majority of his life. So it was covered in like moss and barnacles and we spent a whole day detailing it and it changed it from this like decrepit old looking car to like, it's pretty respectable now. So I'll probably post some before and after pictures in this video. Um, Liz's mom had her birthday on, is it on New Year's or is it? New Year's Eve. New Year's Eve. December 31st. Yeah, so we had a party uh, for that. Cooked two pork shoulders, Cuban style. That was like onions and lime and orange juice, kind of marinated. It's really good. And then chop up the onions and throw them in with the pork. Really good. I'll probably post a picture of that as well. Took a few of those. Uh, while we were down here with, uh, same with my dad. We actually finally did a photo shoot of his car. So he has a 
God, I'm probably going to say the wrong year. I think it's 72 or 73. I can't remember exactly. Uh, Chevelle. Uh, in this extremely rare color, it's a Carolina blue, which uh, there's not a whole lot of documentation, but apparently it was the cars in the North Carolina dealerships. It would sit on the, the turnstile inside the dealership, and it was like a dealer display car. Uh, so the paint code is actually two dashes, where normally it would be a two, two or three uh, letter numbers uh, for the paint code to let you know what it's supposed to be, but on his it's two dashes. So it's pretty rare. Uh, it's very meticulously kept uh, and detailed. So finally got some pictures out. Um, we wanted to get him a large print of his car for Christmas. So we had to take some photos, which we did get that done. Um, so I'll post a few here. Uh, we got the poster ordered. It should probably get delivered I think everyone finally got back to work today or yesterday but uh yeah here we are just trying to get loaded I guess at 8 we'll go over there and see if we're in the right spot or if we have to move again and then uh we'll pick up from there well we got a door assignment door 203 oh I guess the list is calling me Let's... what's up um uh, yeah yeah uh i didn't have enough room the guy parked too close behind us to open the doors do you want to do that i'll uh swing over here yeah yeah we should be good even with harley in there i can do like a angled uh thing i don't know do an angled thing yeah we'll figure it out Did you find the restroom? It was like a maze. It is. it is. So I didn't understand. It was the first door on left, and then it was all the way down on right. Now, if I had to run in there again, I would understand where it is. But there's a lady inside the office. So it's nice. She like grabbed an extra key. I'm like, he didn't give me a key, but appreciate it anyway. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can get this swung around with Heartland on the corner. Okay, put myself on drive. So, we just need to not trigger it to slide the team once you're back in. Yep. I need maximum maneuverability. I know, I know. Do you want to slide them further forward? No, I don't need that much. I just have to barely miss that container. Yeah, Too for much. sure. Alright. Alright, try to get under it. Nope, nope, going right towards the container. Yeah, it's gonna be hold on. Yeah, maybe it wasn't wasn't quite as much angle as I was expecting. Yeah, let me see if I can. Tricky angle because uh, you gotta come so close to that trailer to get around that guy. There we go. That's a better. Alright, am I gonna clear the uh, shipping container? Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, now it's gonna be by quite a few feet. But... Okay, that's fine. Alright, um, which one is 203? I'm standing in the middle of it. Okay. Sounds good. Backing away from it, but that was the middle. That's right.
trying to get it on that yellow line. Yeah, yeah, I'm just watching it over here because it was like over the line over here, so. Alright, I'm going to pull a little angle out. What a nice guy. Yeah, what a guy, right? Wouldn't expect any less from Heartland. <laughs>
as you can see, there's not a whole lot of room in front of us. So uh, with that truck being directly on the corner, it kind of messed things up uh, because they have two poles right next to the docks as well. So you have to be dead on. And I could get, I could get it pretty lined up, but it was over just a little bit and I needed that extra room where the guy was taken up to like actually scoot the trailer over some. It was not fun, but we did it. And then right as I got in, uh, the guy decided to move his truck. Awesome, awesome people. But yeah, what do you expect, you know? Par for the course, but. Uh, the guy said it's gonna take a little while to load because they need to take pictures and put airbags and we have to strap it as well which you know we would do anyways but we'll see uh we'll see how long it takes we made some progress it's 11:05, so they've been at it for like three hours well not the whole time we sat here in front of the door for a while and the whole backing up around the heartland thing uh they just called us in to put in straps. Uh, yeah, it's Denso products, so it's like fuel pumps and injectors and stuff like that. Kind of what we thought. You know, we work on a lot of cars and stuff, and Denso is a big manufacturer for fuel pumps, injectors, uh, fuel delivery parts. Let's put it that way. Uh, he said they need to send it off and get approval and then they're going to come out and get us get the paperwork i'm assuming they're going to have a seal because this was like i don't know so secretive or so like high end they were taking pictures of how we strapped it how they were bracing it all the boxes and stuff like that so i would imagine that there's going to be a seal they have to get approval to send it out from denso or whoever i'm assuming it's denzo but either way so we're almost done we just have to uh get the paperwork and then we can finally get rolling and get out of out of hampton roads out of the uh, land of no truck stops and there's one but it sucks it's a dump and they charge you 15 dollars to uh park there so, uh it's definitely not worth that so. So uh, we'll pick up when we, when we get out of here. It's supposedly fairly light, so we shouldn't have to scale it. We'll just have to move the uh, tandems back to a normal length, and then get rolling. All right, we got loaded, got sealed, got the paperwork. Had to call and double check, because uh, it was looking suspiciously like a hazmat load, and it was not advertised as a hazmat load, and we didn't have placards. Uh, but we called, so when things get shipped overseas, sometimes they have different requirements for uh, having the warning labels with the uh, hazmat type on the boxes. There's different regulations that determine that it's hazmat. So we called, ours is not hazmat. It is good to go. So now we're gonna get out of uh, Hampton Roads and put down some miles, hopefully see what kind of traffic we can run into. In true 
first load of the year fashion. <laughs> Liz got a call while I was driving, probably about 10 miles ago, and the lady asked if we were good for a 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. delivery, which is not what we signed up for. We signed up for a 7 a.m. delivery tomorrow morning. That way we could get to our next pickup and we could find parking. If it was for 7 to 10 p.m., definitely would not have taken it, especially in Chattanooga with parking the way it is there. So the agent said he was going to try to get the appointment time changed to something earlier and then said something about some sort of money asked what it would take to make it right because he completely messed up and looked at 7 o'clock and assumed it was 7 a.m. and marked everything down with that so our contract that we agreed upon was 7 a.m. but the people that we're delivering to aren't expecting us until 7 p.m. So, uh, not, not the most fun. So, uh, I don't know what's going to happen yet, but the next load should be able to be picked up pretty much any time that we're done, uh, since that's a preloaded trailer. So, I don't think we're going to to lose our next load because that one's over the weekend as well so we're not going to lose the next load but it's pretty frustrating so i really don't want to be in in chattanooga area athens tennessee to be more correct um i really don't want to be there in the middle of the night trying to find parking because this is why we intentionally don't take things that deliver in the middle of the night because we're done with that reefer stuff. At least in reefer, you would show up at midnight, but they wouldn't get you out until like 10 a.m. the next morning, so you didn't have to struggle to find a parking spot. Um, but I don't know, we're gonna see what happens. I mean, the money's still, the loads are still gonna be good. Uh, we might have to, I don't know, uh, maybe just park on, the people's site until they kick us out or maybe we can snag a place at the uh drop and hook i don't know yet i'm sure we can figure out somewhere to sit the truck long enough to pick up the next load because we have enough time that we could just go to sleep after somebody stays up and you know monitors for a spot somewhere but i don't know we'll figure out all right so this is several days later i'm editing the video that I'm, we're currently doing this is crocheting. Um, I just wanted to make a few mentions here because uh, I know all the Lance RBCO, uh, their BCOs, plural, because it's going to be more than one, uh, are circling like sharks with like blood in the water to tell me that uh, we should have checked the appointment times with the receiver, which you are correct. I do take some blame in that, but also let's not forget that the agents have a obligation to provide accurate and concise uh, dispatch. Uh, that's their obligation, according to Lansar. Uh, so it is multiple parts, but this guy just completely messed up. We did not have a direct contact to the receiver as well. Uh, we had the uh, corporate branch which uh, we were not able to make any progress with that number. So just wanted to mention that. Yes, it is a little bit of our fault for not uh, calling and verifying the appointments, but also that agent completely dropped the ball and assumed that seven meant seven in the morning. Made it into Denzo. Uh, I still don't know what's going on. The uh, agent, the other agent, and the people that uh, do shipping and receiving here uh, haven't really done much. So they said to come over here and try to get checked in and see what happens. So we're going to go see. And um, they don't look very busy, but, you know, some places, I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen, but uh, we'll, we'll take you guys along. We'll see how long we sit at Denzo.
not the right place. So he casually said, you need to be on the other side of the building. This is a very large building. Uh, small city's worth. So we're gonna go drive around until we find another uh, receiving area, I guess. Do you see any numbers on the buildings? Uh, I do not. Maybe something that says Ocean Imports? Maybe. Let's see Turn what right on the sign Price says. Boulevard, then take the first right. Yeah, because like there's multiple buildings. Cafeteria deliveries, that's probably not us. Uh, let's see, what is this sign? Plant 801. I guess we're going over to 20. Yeah, I don't know. Like I said, we're just gonna drive around until, until we find the other uh, receiving area and they tell us to go somewhere else. place. So they are the uh, manufacturer for a lot of uh, cars, fuel injectors, and fuel pumps, and spark plugs. Denso Iridium spark plugs come in a lot of vehicles. I guess Denso coppers too, but nobody uses copper anymore, except for me. Well, there's a bunch of trucks over here, so this is probably more like it, I guess. I don't know. Forklift guy says anything? It's kind of in the swing room. Alright, didn't run over forklift guy. Uh, let's see. There is a door there. There's some docks over there too. Yeah, there's no building numbers. I don't know how. I was like, yeah, you gotta go over to 2406, duh. I'm like, oh, my bad. Uh, let's see, we'll flip around and park next to our buddy over here. Yeah, because there's so many just random buildings everywhere. Let's go in and figure it out. Another update. So we struck out. So we got in there, the guy looked at our paperwork and said, oh, you have fuel pumps. Definitely not gonna happen until second shift. Come back at seven. So that was, so we agreed to this load at 7 a.m. They called and let us know that it was supposed to be 7 p.m. Uh, so it makes more sense now because they don't they don't unload it on first shift. So there's no point in staying here because they were trying, we told them the solutions would be if we could park here while we were meeting after we got unloaded because being down here with not a, a whole lot of options to park, you know, at like 10, 11, 12 o'clock at night, uh, we wanted to stay here, but we're not 100% sure that there's a bathroom inside and I don't know so it looks like pretty much nothing happened it's kind of typical um, usually if there's like a clerical mistake <laughs> the person that's gonna get burnt is the driver and there's no way around it uh, yeah it is what it is so I think we're gonna go down the street there's some rest areas we're gonna try to exit flip around go back up north and catch the one that's northbound so we just have to go straight shot back up here 
tonight at 7 o'clock. Probably get here a little early at 6, but yeah. Uh, straight shut down. Not even a, we'll try to work you in like all the agents said. Yeah, try to get down there. Cause you know, we don't have hours of service or anything. Like it doesn't matter to us because we're, you know, two clocks, but you know, what if you were solo driver? <laughs> You would have definitely been parked here until you get cold. But anyways, we're gonna get over to the rest area. Probably try to sleep because pretty much gotta run through the night. We're gonna go pick up the other load. Uh, I think we're gonna try to get down to Georgia tonight after we get unloaded, at least to pick up the trailer or maybe get closed, just pop in every rest area and, and uh, truck stop on the way until we find a spot or just get down there pick up the trailer and then by then hopefully there'll be some spots and, and some uh some some truck stops or rest areas or something so we'll pick up a little bit later we're back we're back at the time that they told us to come back at so hopefully <laughs> hopefully we get a dock hopefully we get unloaded. loaded See how it goes this time. The uh, gate closes at 6 p.m. So I had to use our intercom system. Well, we made it past the gate. Now we just gotta see if second shift is here. Yeah, this wasn't fun. I don't like uh, I don't like being given the wrong appointment times, but. I guess this is the first time that's happened to us at Landstar, so that's nice. But... start the video too. All right, it's a new challenge. We got checked in and this, uh, here, let me point it forward. This uh, truck over here to our right is broken down and we need to be in the dock that's uh, closest to the railing. So it is a tad bit of a blind side offset, some weirdness. Yeah, let me move them here. So, I'm gonna have Liz spot me, uh, and I'm gonna... Do you think we should open the doors now? Yeah. Since we're gonna be by the railing? Yeah, that's true. Here, here's my key. Yeah. Uh, what kind of seal is it? Uh, metal one. So we're gonna have to kind of blindside offset around him. It's gonna be pretty tight. So I decided to hop up here and Liz is gonna spot it for me. Uh, that way we can get in with no incidents. I don't wanna hit their railing. I don't wanna hit the truck. And uh, other than that, it is very empty. <laughs> so I think we're gonna get in and out. He already signed the paperwork, so. We're just waiting for the green light and then we're going to be able to just roll. I guess I can just leave the straps up to the way that we Alright, let's get her backed in. Let's see how much of a mess this is. Shouldn't be too bad. We're going to go down this road over here. Not 
too bad. I can move. Not gonna be the most fun, but we can make it work. Make a U turn, <laughs> then take the first left. GPS thinks we're lost. You there? Yep. Okay. Just trying not to run over the grass. Yeah, I was going to say, it's looking fine, but angling kind of towards it. A little too much. You're going to dip off. That was fairly deep. Isn't there like concrete? Yeah. I'm trying to see. Maybe some shadows. Yeah, some shadows made it look like it was more of a dip. Yeah, you're good. So gentle shoulder. Just make sure we have enough room to come out of it. So it just seems to be uh, us backing around other trucks. <laughs> okay, you got about like 10 feet now. Yeah, I'm just trying to not body slam the wall. Yeah, for sure, so, especially since I already took all of
Rojar Price Boulevard. So we'll pick up later. I guess if we end up picking up tonight. Otherwise, if we pick up tomorrow, either way, we'll pick up later. We found a spot. A few miles down from where we delivered. Um, pulled into a rest area. A hotshot happened to be leaving. So we scooped up that spot. I um, got everything ready for tomorrow. We're in Athens, Tennessee. Yeah, we're in Athens, I Tennessee. 75. 75 heading towards Chattanooga. Oh, that's going to be the other thing in the morning, getting past Chattanooga. Oof. Yeah. So we're going to sleep here for a little bit and then kind of judge when we need to leave out to hit as little traffic around Atlanta as possible. But Chattanooga can also be kind of a pain to get around but we will deal with that tomorrow well we will leave it off here then uh, do you do you say anything you notice uh, it's been so say long it. it's been so long thanks um, for watching thanks for watching we'll catch you on the next one